All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Super Light Coupe build. In this video, we are going to cover two things. Uh, the first, uh, we attach the radiator to the front compartment. That's already complete, but I'll walk you through how that came out. And then the second thing is we're going to mount the condenser in front of the radiator. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, we've installed the the radiator and fan shroud unit into the front compartment and you can see I had to drill four new holes on each side about three quarters of an inch or an inch more forward than the stock location. Uh, before final assembly what I'll do is I'll replace those bolts with some button head screws give it a little better finished look and also the original holes I'll just have welded shut and then we'll sand that down and make that look like they were never there. Uh, if we take a peek at, you know, the radiator mount, you can see those silicone rubber uh, grommets. You know, these are three eighth inch bolts, so they're they're really beefy mounts. I think this will provide some really good isolation from vi vibration and you know help prevent uh, the radiator from from leaking in the future. I think this came out really good. And also, if I get the angle right, you can see I have about a third of an inch clearance between the master cylinder and the fan shroud. So all in all, I'm really happy with the way this came out. Okay, so in the next segue, we'll talk about mounting the condenser. Okay, well, here's a view of the front of the radiator. And actually, if I zoom in, you can see the front radiator brackets, the 3 8 inch bolts, and the and the grommet assembly and see how it all goes together. You also notice a hole through the radiator on, on either side or on both sides. And these holes are, are there so you can route the number 8 and the number 6 uh, condenser lines. You know, the number 8 goes to the compressor, the number 6 uh, goes to the dryer. And this video, we're really just focused on how we're going to mount the condenser, uh, but not focused on the AC line routing. We'll cover that in a follow-on video. Okay, so let's go to the next segment. Okay, well, this is what comes in the kit. You get the condenser, and then you get these four condenser mounting brackets, and these are sort of generic brackets. And many builders use these, many builders come up with some other, some other ways of doing it. But, you know, essentially what, what some builders do is they take this bracket and they'll, they'll bend it at some point. You know, it's, 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 it's steel, but it, it's pretty flexible. And they sort of mount it here and then bend it and twist it over. And they use this to mount the top, the top of the condenser. And then what they'll do is they'll just chop the top of this off and then bend it into an L bracket for the bottom of the condenser. But, you know, some people feel that they want to insulate the condenser from vibration and that approach doesn't do it. There's all sorts of theories. I don't really know what's right or wrong. Uh, but what I've come up with is a design that will leverage the mounting points in the grommets. So, It'll be a little bit of a cleaner install from the standpoint of I don't have to drill any more holes in the front compartment. And then number two, it sort of looks good. And number three, it, it, it sort of funnels the air uh, through the radiator instead of around the, around the condenser, All right? So we'll take a look at the design I came up with. Okay. Well, after spending way too many hours looking at various builds and all the different ways other builders attach the condenser to the radiator, this is the design or the design that I settled on. It's, it's a simple, it's a simple uh, frame that I'll use to attach the condenser made out of aluminum angles. Uh, I'm just going to grab, I'm going to grab the condenser here and it, you know, this isn't really rocket science, but it did take me many hours to, to, to get to this point. So anyway, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll attach the condenser to the frame, 
and then that frame is going to attach to the mounting points uh, where the grommets are. So it'll be a nice clean install and it's going to look good. So I'll show that in the next segue. Okay, well we have the condenser bracket on the mounting points. I'll sort of zoom in here. Nice clean install, didn't have to drill any more holes. Uh, the other thing is, you know, all the air, you know, I'm going to just put some uh, aluminum tape on top. <coughs> Excuse me, and that'll force all the air through the condenser and through the radiator. So it's going to look nice and clean. It'll be functional. Uh, not much more to really add here. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to drill some holes and attach the condenser to the bracket and then we will call it a wrap. Okay, well this will be the next to last segment and I had to do a little work on the bracket but as you can see I attached the condenser to the bracket with some F M5 screws and lock nuts. So I've got to get some more lock nuts. I had a whole bag of them but I don't know, I have no idea where they are. I, I try to stay organized except for the workbench, but for some reason they disappeared. Uh, let's see, a couple things to note. I had to machine out this area uh, that lines up with the hole in the radiator so I could get the number eight and number six uh, refrigerant lines through. The other thing too, as you'll see, it's not exactly centered in the bracket and the reason for that is you know I'm going to have some fittings that connect to uh, these aluminum lines that are going to go through uh, the hole on one side of the radiator so I shifted I shifted this all the way over uh, now in case I need to use both holes I, I did leave enough room here I can I can cut this out and get access to the to the second hole Okay, so let's see. The other thing is I did machine the top and bottom of these brackets just to expose all the rows in the condenser so I get as much cooling effect as possible and as much air flowing, flowing through the condenser. Okay, so I'll install this on the car. We'll take a look and I'll call it a wrap. Okay, well this will be the final segment of the condenser install. And I will say it went pretty smooth. Let's see, a couple final comments if we take a closer look. It's sort of hard because this thing is uh, has a sort of a light shining on it, but you know, you can see the amount of room we have to route those lines, so I think that'll be adequate. Then we have a little bit of room on the right side if we need to get one of the hoses coming in from the other side. You know, it looks simple, but you know, if you look at how tight everything is, I mean. You know, this is the front bar that holds the splitter up. And, you know, this just clears, just clears the, the condenser. You know, then you have, uh, you know, the screws to put the bracket together just clears the corner of the radiator because of the way it's angled. And then this is the lock nut to hold the, uh, you know, to hold the screw on. Uh, I can always reverse that if I wanted to, but I, I think I have enough room there. The other thing is I may have uh, have the welder weld the corners up and just give it a more finished look. Uh, but anyway, it you know look, I, I'm really happy with this. Didn't have to drill any more holes. It's going to scoop all the air right through the condenser and into the radiator. You know, it sort of looks like every other component on the car, you know, the, the aluminum look, you know, versus the, the sort of the generic brackets that they give you. So anyway, I think we will call it a wrap. Uh, next up on the build will be the cooling tube. So you can see I've got some cooling tubes laying around here. I've got a bunch of P-clamps. I've got some... Uh, stainless steel elbow so I'm going to start putting that together and you'll see that on the next video. Okay so once again thanks for watching and take care.